welcome back to the Buck Lake in Lake Michigan. I'm Princess. And I'm the Goob. And, and this, this is Gulps, Gulps and Games. The uh, weekly show where we mm -hmm. um, try out some drinks, give you our, our little background on the company and uh, the drink itself, and then uh, try them. And then we play a game, give a little how-to on the game. And, uh, oh yeah. Yep. Um, so this week we're actually going to be doing Line of Kugel. You can go ahead and pull yours out since uh, they're both Line of Kugel. I've never had a Line of Kugel beer that I didn't like. Except yeah. for maybe Oktoberfest, because I don't like anyone's Oktoberfest. I don't like Oktoberfest beers. <laughs> um, I mean, I'll drink them, but I don't yeah. particularly care for them. So Line of Kugel was founded in 1867 in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin by Jacob Line of Kugel. And uh, he created all these recipes using his, uh, you know, his background, his German heritage came in handy for a lot of these. So even though it's an American company, there's a lot of German um, influence in the beers. Uh, so we got one. It's a North Woods Lager. We've actually never heard of this one. Nope. And uh, we're up in the north and we're in the woods. So we thought, hey, North Woods. Yes. Um, but uh, so I always like lager, so that's not good. And the other one we have, um, you want to talk about it? Sure. This one is Sunset Wheat. It was one of my very first line of Kugels I've ever had. Um, and I've noticed that I haven't been seeing them around a long time. <laughs> so when I saw this, I'm like, let's get it. And then I'm thinking about it more, and I do see that this one ex was supposed to be drank in 2018. So, but we did look it up, and they actually stopped making this beer in July of 2019. So we will send this to them and tell them that they need to bring it up back out of hibernation because it is one of my more favorite ones of, well, besides the shandies. I love all their shandies, but we don't have a shandy today. But they need to bring this one back. Um, we once made it with, what was it? We made it a bread out of it. Yeah. That was so good. Yeah, beer bread, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was really good for Can that. Can I talk about it well enough? Yeah, yeah, you oh, did a good job. Oh, you want me to pour it? Yeah, get your glass. <laughs> okay. pour, Sorry, pour guys, it. I hurt my toe earlier. Well, not really all here. <laughs> I don't know what her excuse is any other time, though. <laughs> don't pour the whole thing. Look how I left no. you a swallow. Oh, only a swallow, yes. So, here you go. Okay. Ooh, look at it all at the bottom. Ooh, I don't know if this is going to be good, babe. Oh, yeah. The, um... Uh-oh. The wheat has, has thickened, and it's actually, uh... Maybe it'll be better. Yeah, here, let me, let me see if I can't get a nice, uh, shot of this. <laughs> like I said, they stopped making this, and I think it was just a... A lucky thing that we found. It was the last one in those variety places. It doesn't smell that bad. It smells like I remember it smelling. So well, if I guess I throw up later, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Along with my hurt toe. Cheers, well, I am. I am. How does it taste? No, you I didn't. drank yours. I did. I drank, I drank mine. <laughs> oh, it tastes like it's supposed to. Okay, then I'll try this one then. I was letting her be the guinea pig. Oh! That happens with wheat beer. The stuff gets fermented and whatever. It might be more alcohol. Higher percentage of alcohol now. It still tastes good, but I, flakes, I could taste the flakes. You could, I couldn't. Yeah. Well, this is why you drink beer within the time that it's supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> um, go ahead and uh, cleanse your palate and taste the lager one. Like I was expecting it to be similar to their canoe paddler. Mm -hmm. It says it is a malt forward amber lager with cascade and cluster hops. Hmm. Did we 
explained what sunset wheat was supposed to be? I don't remember. No, he, it's a, a wheat beer with natural flavors for a citrus taste. And they spelled wheat, W-I-T-B-I-E-R. Wit, wit beer. Oh. So we thought since we brought back an old beer, <laughs> we'd play an old game. Um, this is uh, Mill Bourne's. It's a French card game that Parker uh, Parker Brothers um, brought out, and it, it's still sold. We did look that up because this one is from like 1964. Mm -hmm. um, this was my dad's game from when he was a kid. My grandpa said that he loved it so much he wrote his name on it so that no one else could claim it. That it was his game. Um, and then my cousin brought it's it on up. the side too. Yeah, he wrote it all over <laughs> it. Uh, it comes with this nice little tray. You have your draw side where you can reach them, and then your discard pile is this nice little thing. Uh, and then it comes with a um, a score uh, cards with the score uh, how many of the um, cards are supposed to be in each of them, which came in handy because it was missing some cards. So we just took some playing cards and wrote what they were supposed to be, what we're missing on them. For two players and three players, you're supposed to remove one each hazard of out of gas, flat tire, uh, speed limit, and I don't know, was it two flat tires then? Because we got two flat tires here. I don't, what? These are the ones that were removed. Okay, I don't know, I don't remember. Okay. And then it also comes with um, score sheet cards, but there's one of them is French. So uh, if yeah. you don't, <laughs> you don't know French, that's not going to help you. Yeah. Trees right here in front of us. I'm, I'm looking down further. Oh, oh that line. Just flew away. Okay. <laughs> There's like four different lines over there, so and like 30 different trees. So she's like in between the trees on the line. Doesn't like really... right in front of us. Mm -hmm. you explain why we had two different cards? Yes. Oh. Okay. All right. So then what you do is you get each person six six cards. And you're always going to have six cards in your hand. So you'll see as we start playing. So when you start your turn, and I'll go first, you draw a card, and then you play a card. And if you can't play anything, it goes to the next player. Now, you have mile cards. There's 25, 50, 75, 100, and 200. The object of the game is to drive 1,000 miles. It's exactly. But since we're two players, we only go up to 700 miles. Um, when you get to 700 miles, the person that reaches 700 first can do an extension where they go up to 1,000 and you get an extra 400 points on top of the normal amount that you would get for that if you get there and it doesn't matter who if I let's say I get to 700 and I do the extension and then she reaches a thousand before me she gets those extra points you can't play any mile cards unless you have the roll card it's a little green light so go and so you play that and that's my turn just playing that card was my turn so now it's her turn so as you see I still have six cards in my hand I'm also going to play a roll card. So now, I'm going to give her a flat tire. So now, she not only has to get a spare tire on that card, she then has to play another roll card in order to actually you continue. You can't use the repair on it. Correct. <laughs> there, there's there's uh, four different types of... Oh, look at that. I got a spare tire. Nice. 
There's four different types of things that you can do to people. There's the, the flat tire, out of gas, um, an accident, and then there is a speed limit that you can impose on them, which means that they can only play speeds of up to a certain number, which is 50, all the speed limits say. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it's my turn. I draw my card, and I'm going to play 100 miles. Okay. And since I fixed my flat tire with a spare tire, I now have to play a go again to be able to put miles Did down. you draw? No. Always draw before you play. <laughs> okay, go. Okay. Now you're in an accident. <laughs> yep. I'm in an accident. So now I drew the card. I'm in an accident, so I can't play any miles, and I don't, I can't play a go card until I fix my accident. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard a card. So I'm going to discard one of my cards. So now it's her turn. So that way I still only have six in my hand. I have a repair. I have a repair. Now I just need to get another go. Oh, look at that! <laughs> like we planned that. Yup. And now I have... Oh, that's not the right one. Now I have a go. Out of gas. Okay. So now he needs a gasoline car to... Which I have. Gas fill. Aww. And now it's your turn. Okay. I know you're out of gas. <laughs> so, so we're we're gonna. You, did we shuffle these? I shuffled them a couple oh. times. Right before we, we're gonna go ahead and have a uh, pop to be continued. Um, we'll continue playing when we get to more parts where we need to explain things. We'll let you know on that because there are um, safety cards and, like I said, the speed limit cards. Um, and then we'll do the points at the end, but you know, the, the game could, the hand could take a while, so let's just, it's your turn. Oh, hang on. Um, so, uh, I do want to just show, um, she played the speed limit, making it where I could only go up to 50 miles an hour, but then I immediately played end of limit, which means I can go as fast as I want again. All right, so I just drew right of way. So I play this now. What this means is she can no longer play um, speed limits on me, and she can no longer play stop cards on me. Uh, so this is what's a, it's a safety card. And you're supposed to have a row for your safety cards, and then that way, um, yeah. So that protects me you can't from those. Can't play any bad things on him. Yeah. Those particular things. Yep. There's like I said, there's and four then, four safety cards. You draw another one if you. Yeah, oh yeah, when I draw that one, you can play it, or if it's in your hand, you can play it, and then you get to draw again. I now have 700. All right. Should we extend it? Yep. Okay. I'm so, extending it. Yep, she reached 700, and she extended it, so now it's whoever gets 1,000 first. Oh, now I got a safety one, an extra tank. So that means if he plays a gasoline card on me, it, I, I can't. can't. I, don't, I can't play the out of gas card on her anymore. Oh, I got a driving ace. Which means I can't make he her get into an accident oh, anymore. Yes. Oh, I got puncture proof. Which means I can't make her have a flat tire. Right. Oh, the 825. So this would make it 900. Thousand. All right. So we'll go ahead and uh, add up all the points now.
comes with score sheets, but there's only so many of them, so we'll have to uh, make a copy of it and print some out with that or something. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so you have your little score sheet, and it starts with where it says brought forward, because if um, you play multiple hands until you reach 5,000 points, uh, you don't need exactly, you can go over 5,000. So um, brought forward is if you're bringing forward points from the other side of the page. So that would be zero on each of us. And then, um, I've already forgotten what the points are. Mm. Hold up the one that the points in it. Yep. Okay. So, milestones are, um... The miles you went. Yeah. So, how many miles? You went a thousand? A thousand. And I went one, two, three... 475. So even though I didn't win, I still get points for how many miles I did get before I went out. Um, safe. Before I went out. No, when she went out. Yeah, well, when <laughs> the game ended, the hand ended. Um, so then, um, then you get points for safeties. So she gets 300 points. That's three safeties. And I get 100 points. Now, if she had all had all four of them. She would have gotten an extra 700 on yes. points. Um, Coupe Ferrets. Uh, Kufares, we did not play any of those. A Kufare card, uh, we don't have any in here, and I don't know how many are supposed to be in here, so we didn't make any yet. Um, if you play, if you get a Kufare card, what it does is it allows you to. Uh, it's not on the list. Oh, it's not. On the yeah, list. Um, it allows you to. Um, if she tried to, when she tried to play this accident on me, I could have played the Kufare, and it makes the accident happen on her. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Trip completed. So you get um, 400 points. 400, yep. And I get zero. Delayed action did not happen. A delayed action is if you have, like if she only needed 25 miles to win, she could wait until this entire draw pile is gone and then play that as the last card. But you risk that because if I'm the one that draws that last card, she doesn't get another turn. So she risks not getting that extra, her entire thousand points and the extra for going out and all that stuff um, a safe trip if you do not play any 200 mile an hour cards um, you get a safe trip but since she played 200 she doesn't get a safe trip shut out is if you uh, you get points for if I didn't play any miles at all and she she kept me from doing that she gets points for a shutout but neither one of us did that and then the extension how many points do you get for that 200 200 so she got an extra 200 points for going the extra 300 so then you add those up so she is at 1700 and I'm at 575 and then you just keep playing and um, like I said like you just keep moving it moving it along on the score sheet until uh, you get to 5,000 points and uh, so that that's the game uh, we mm -hmm. like I said uh, my cousin Quentin brought it up from uh, Pennsylvania it was my dad's game and uh, we've never heard of it, so it was interesting to learn to play and actually really enjoyed playing it. So it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. It's still, they do still sell it. There's uh, newer versions, obviously. So it's not the 1960s one, which you could probably find on eBay. But thanks for coming. As always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Um, hit the like button, share this, please. And if you have any suggestions for any games you'd like to see us play or any drinks you want to see us drink, Drop those down in the comment section. Love to hear from you. Hey, and in the past, if you had some fun set week with Lina Kugels, hit them up and tell them to bring it back. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Bye.